massive Dollar Tree haul for you guys today. Hi guys, and thank you so much for watching my videos. If you are new to my channel, welcome. Please consider hitting that like, subscribe, and notification bell so you never miss an episode. So I am super excited. I finally got around to hauling all of these amazing Dollar Tree items. Now there are some jackpot finds and there's a ton more in my Dollar Tree shop with me. So every Wednesday I do post a Dollar Tree shop with me and we go in store and we look for the newest finds and that video is up now. I also do one on Sunday. Now if I find anything good, I'll definitely post a video. Sometimes I don't, it's like they didn't get shipment or they haven't put it out yet. So, but I usually try my best to get some type of Dollar Tree shop with me up for you guys on Sunday. And Sunday there was some amazing finds as well. So I'm super excited to get started with this amazing haul. Now, if you entered for that subscriber gift on my last Last Dollar Tree haul, I will announce a winner somewhere in this video. So let's go ahead and get into it. Okay, uh, let's go with food finds. Now, normally I, I do pick up food from the Dollar Tree. You know, normally like soft stuff for my husband. Um, I did buy some items here, so I'm excited to share it with you guys. So first thing I found was the Guardians of the Galaxy cereal. I'm not a big cereal eater, but I do love the Marvel comics. And as you guys know, I'm a huge sci-fi fan. If you don't know that, then I am. I love um, the Avengers, I love Marvels. I love Spider-Man, I love Star Wars, that is my absolute all-time favorite, and um, I do love Guardians of the Galaxy, and just because it's the box that says Guardians of the Galaxy, I'm not going to keep the box like as a souvenir, I will try the cereal, but I had to buy it because it was just too, look at this, this is awesome. So I actually, I think I'm going to save this for the grand girls, they are coming for Christmas, expiration date on this is in March, until March of 2024. Um, they do eat cereal when they're with grandma, they can like splurge and have sugary stuff and drinks and stuff, not too much, but they do splurge when they're with grandma, so I'll probably put this for them um, when they do come. Um, I did buy this slow cooker bags. Oh, I'm so excited. I found, I finally found these. These were so hard to find. These work amazingly well. I love these. I swear by them. And me and my daughter have been on this crock pot kick. Like both of us have been exchanging recipes. It's actually really cute. Like she's like grown up. It's so weird, but we've been exchanging crock pot recipes and we both have been on the hunt for these liners. So I got her three and then I got myself three. She already took her three and and we've tried a whole bunch. We tried the loaded baked potato soup. We tried the cheesy shredded chicken. We've also done a pot roast. We've done chili. Um, we have not tried the vegetable stew yet. So I think that's going to be next on our list. So I usually try it. And then if I like it, I send her the recipe and then whatever extra I add, because I feel like sometimes the recipes don't have enough seasoning. And I'm like, big on seasoning like I don't like bland food it just does not nope won't do it I won't eat it um this is not a staple in our house but it's so easy to make for my husband's lunches as you guys know he's been on this soft food diet he's gotten a lot of dental work done and he'll finally be done on November 15th and he's gonna have a beautiful smile I'm so excited for him and he'll be able to eat like steak and stuff like that again so my birthday is actually in November um, like Thanksgiving week is my birthday. So we made reservations for steakhouse and all this stuff so he can enjoy like a good steak. So this will be like my last, probably my last purchase of this. At least I hope because I, I would normally make it myself, but making homemade macaroni and cheese at three o'clock in the morning is not something I want to do. And guys, I know I can like pre prep it, put it in the fridge and stuff, but it won't make it. Like every time I say, oh, I made macaroni and cheese. I have the neighbors coming over. I got Megan coming over. I got, you know, people saying, can you give me a bowl? Can you, and I'm just like, this is what he's getting. So yeah. And then I'll do the homemade stuff. You know, I do it. I'm going to do it for Halloween and stuff like that. Okay, I saw this. This has been at the Dollar Tree before. This is the Dove Milk Chocolate Silky Smooth Pudding 
and pie filling. It looks so good and I love pudding. I do, I love chocolate pudding. Any other flavor I'm not a huge fan of, but chocolate, yes, and I love dub. So I'm like, I'm gonna give this a try because this is something I could definitely pack in as lunches. So I grabbed that. Um, one of you guys, and I cannot remember what subscriber told me that this coffee is absolutely delicious. Oh my goodness, you guys were so right. My husband loves this. This is like his, um, he calls it like his speed coffee or his crack coffee because it's like really, really strong. What's that other place that makes really strong coffee? Lee's. If you have a Lee's sandwich, I don't know if they're all over, but I, they're all over in California. It's like a, I want to say it's it's an Asian fusion, like Asian American. They sell baguettes. They sell a bunch of like Asian like subs and stuff, but they have this like Asian coffee and it's super duper strong. I don't know personally because I do not drink coffee. I can't. It's just too much on my heart and I just don't like the taste of it. I never had. You go back to my video seven years ago and I'm like, Ugh. I just don't like it. But my husband's a huge coffee fan and so thank you guys for recommending. He loved. So I grabbed one of these for those toy drive weeks that are coming up. They're coming up so fast. I already have one scheduled for um, December 23rd. I know that is like the day before Christmas Eve, but I think that'll be such a fun event. My grandkids will be here so they can come and help me. Um, my family's all going to come. So I'm super excited about that. And um, I think it'll be a good experience for them. So I have one on December 23rd. I have one on December 16th. I have one on December 2nd. So my calendar is getting full, full, full. So he's going to need this. So I grabbed that for him. And then um, we were out of pepper and I went to the grocery store and I was like, I'm not spending $6 on pepper. I got the Supreme Tradition black pepper, which is regular ground pepper. I need it. And you guys know I love seasoning. And then I wanted to try the Morton seasoning salt. I usually get the Lowry's seasoning salt. And we use this for like burgers and stuff like that. Um, I've never tried this. If you guys have tried the seasoning salt, let me know. I want to know if it's any good. I'll definitely try it. And then I got my husband one of these as breakfast essentials for him. I should have grabbed more, but I can't. these are hard to find in my area, like super hard. So I grabbed one. I figure if I'm having a lazy day, I'll just refrigerate this and put some oatmeal with it. And then it's lunch and I'm good to go. Okay. Next thing I grabbed, and I think I'm going to try this. One of you guys said in the comments that it tastes really good in coffee. So I'm going to try it in my husband's coffee. Um, this is the Shakers Seasoning Blend by Snickers. So I was like, you know what? I will give it a whirl for a buck 25. You guys said it was really, really good in milkshakes on top of ice cream. And one of you guys said it was really good in coffee. So thank you for recommending. I grabbed one and that is all of the food finds. Okay, let's continue on with some more items. I'm super excited. I don't even know where to begin because there's so much stuff in here. Okay, the penguins. I had to grab these penguins. I would totally put it in a subscriber prize. However, they are ceramic and they will break. Look at how pretty these penguins are. So I'm kind of glad I got an early start on this because I need to start decorating the house too. Like I keep saying, grad kids are coming and I don't want them to think that well, they know I love Christmas. It's like my favorite time of the year, but I don't really decorate because I'm always so busy. So November, I am definitely making plans to take the tree out, to decorate it, to wrap presents. So um, I'll probably show you guys. I'll probably vlog it or something like that. Save it for um, Vlogmas. <laughs> I was going to call it Blocktober for Vlogmas. I'm definitely doing Vlogmas again. I had a ton of fun doing that. Did slack a little bit, but I'm going to try to do it better this year. So Look at that. Isn't that cute? So they came in three different size. I mean, two different sizes. They had the mama pumpkin or daddy pumpkin and the baby. Aren't these cute? They look so high end for a buck 25. This looks like something you would pick up at maybe um, Target or you would probably find it at um, Hobby Lobby. Great, 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 great deal for a buck 25. So I grabbed these and these are going to go somewhere here. Because this is like my little Christmas area. I love that. Okay, so I grabbed those. And then um, I grabbed one of these to put in the RV because um, I just thought it was really cute. I figured you could either put um, some fake flowers in it. I love that it's plastic. And I like having like little flowers and stuff in the RV. So I grabbed this. Or I could also use it as like a, I can't, carafe. Is that how you say it? I always say we're drunk. But, you know, to put orange juice in, I thought that'd be, like, kind of 
fancy. So I grabbed this. I'm going to put this in the RV. I really like it. I'm get some flowers and put it in there. Okay, next thing I grabbed, it was actually for my really good friend, Dorothy. She asked me to grab her and her mom, and I should have grabbed different colors, Dorothy. I wasn't thinking. You didn't really specify what color you wanted, so I got black. These are so stinking cute, and I should have actually grabbed myself one. Now I totally put this on my head to show you guys how cute this is. Oh, no. So fuzzies on it. But I thought she would love this. Oh, it's so soft. These are by Junk. Oh, Snugadoo. Super soft. And I love the pom pom. I know she is um in the Midwest and it gets cold over there. So I figured her and her mom could use these. They could be twins. I don't know. She's going to kill me for doing that. And then she wanted some of the gloves. I got you this one. It's a two pack, but I actually have some from Black Friday from Target last year. So I'll just add some of those in your box as well. Um, so yeah, I grabbed you those. And then, um, mothballs. I use these in my shed because my neighbor next door, I can, their fence is like right there. My neighbor next door, they have a ton of fruit trees. So they have an apricot tree, uh, avocado tree. They have a peach tree. They have just trees and they had chickens, but then we weren't zoned for as many chickens as I had. So they got rid of the chickens, which I totally miss those chickens because those chickens kept like mice away and, Unfortunately, they have all the fruit, so they love to go there, and then they travel over here. And my dogs, um, especially Harley, Yorkshire Terriers were bred to work in farms and get rid of the mice. So Harley is on it, and it's disgusting, and she brings me presents, and I want to scream and die and cry because I'm afraid it's going to bite her and give her rabies or something. But anyways, mothballs keep mice away. So I put them in little sachets. No, I don't leave them out because I know my dogs are not that, well, they're smart, but they would probably try to eat it because they're crazy. So I put them in little sachets and I throw them inside of my shed and that keeps my shed free of critters. I know there's like no holes or my shed's pretty new, but at the same time, I'm not taking any chances. All my toy drive stuff is in there. All my Easter stuff for next year is in there. So I'm not taking any chances on that. So I grabbed three more bags. Me and my husband do this probably once a month or every other month we refill restock and as it's getting colder they're going to be trying to make a little nest and stuff and they're not going to do it in my shed they can do it at the neighbor's house with all their little garden of eden they have going over there i mean don't get me wrong i love that they give us fresh fruit and stuff but i'm just like girl <laughs> the critters are coming i just know it especially springtime Oof. okay so that's why I bought those. I know, huge, long explanation. Let's go ahead and announce the winner of that amazing subscriber prize. And guys, I'll give you a sneak peek into this week's. It's pretty awesome. You're not going to want to miss it. So let's do that right now. Okay, guys, here is a sneak peek to this week's subscriber prize. I am super excited for you guys. I wanted to do something extra special. So I created this and uh, we're going to announce the winner of that last subscriber gift from my last Dollar Tree haul. And then I'll let you guys know how you can enter to win this amazing prize. So to Bobby Whitehead, you are the winner of that amazing subscriber gift. Please email me so I can get your package out to you. Guys, if you did not win, you saw that super cute sneak preview. That one is coming up next. So keep watching so you can enter to win. Let's continue. So please congratulate last week's winner. They did win an amazing prize and I'm super excited for you. So please email me so I can get your package out to you. Guys, please keep in mind, like I am a one man show. So sometimes it takes me about I try my best to get them out as soon as possible, but I am so swamped, so I'm behind. And if it's like a themed, like holiday typed subscriber gift, I try to get out as soon as possible. But just be patient with me. I'm by myself. The girl that used to volunteer and work for me, she is in registered nurse. No, I'm not in registered nurse. She's studying to be a physician's assistant. Um, she already got her RN. So the next step up, I think, is physician's assistant. And she's so swamped at school, she can't work anymore. So it's just me, myself, and I, which I'm really bummed about. But I'm super excited for her future. I'm super excited for her. Like, I would never want her to, like, 
not do her work because she has to post for me on social media and do my shipping. So I'm on the hunt. Hopefully I can find somebody soon. Um, I forgot what college it is. They have like a social media class and I had volunteers from there last year. So hopefully I get some applicants for next year. I'll be super excited. Like, yes, please. Okay. So I'm behind just that, letting you know. So congratulate last week's winner. If you saw that sneak peek. It's pretty awesome. And yeah, let's continue on. Um, I did buy some socks. I got these for Amanda's stocking and I was like, Hey, when you get a chance, can you pull out your um, stocking and bring it to me. And she's just like, we're still in October. I'm still in Halloween mo mode. And then we got Thanksgiving and you're telling me I need to go and pull out my stocking. I'm like, yeah, because there's, I don't know how much I have it filled yet. So she looked at me with a side eye, but I did get her these because we always say, and I have an owl in my car, actually a little stuffy, um, that my husband kind of resembles an owl a little bit because the beard, like the little, yeah. So she'll get it. Those are for him. Um, I got these for my sister-in-law because she has kitty cats and I usually just get her something really, really, really small. We don't usually exchange gifts. So I'll give her this and like maybe a gift card to, I don't even know. Like the stuff she likes is, I call her like, she's like my bougie sister-in-law. The stuff she likes is like really expensive and we're trying to do like small little gifts. So it's kind of hard to shop for her sometimes. I'm just saying, she don't watch my videos. Okay, next thing I had to grab. Oh my gosh, these are so stinking cute. I'm so excited. So I grabbed the Super Mario Brothers socks and I want to keep all three, but I'm not. I'm going to give one to um my daughter-in-law. No, wait. My stepdaughter i'm sorry my stepdaughter myself and myself because they're so cute look at these little mario brothers socks aren't these adorable these are so cute i'm so excited that i found these so i grabbed three it was up to me i probably grabbed like four or five okay um and next thing i grabbed okay what do i show you guys oh look at this i got a santa for dorothy and then that cute little tea light holder. I thought she would like that. And then I grabbed this for you guys for the gingerbread themed subscriber gift we will be having. Um, it's coming up soon, guys. I want to do it like sometime in early November. So you guys, my dog's barking, um, in early November. So you guys have plenty of time to enjoy all of the Christmas decor. I don't like doing it December 1st because I figure you only have a few more weeks till Christmas. And then, you know. That's it. But I like doing them a little earlier. So you guys have the whole month of November and like the almost the whole month of December to enjoy all of the Chris, Christmas items that I will be doing for my subscriber gifts. So I want to do three. I want to do like the gingerbread man. I also want to do like the traditional Santa because I love that. And I think I'm going to go with snowman because I do love the snowman. He's so stinking cute. Or maybe I'll go with penguins. I don't know. Third one is still kind of a toss up, but oh my gosh, so cute. So cute this year. Okay, next thing I grabbed was, I thought these would look really, really cute in um, like, what is that thing called? Raffle gifts. <laughs> like, what is that thing called? So these are really cute. I'm probably 99% positive. I'm going to be taking these out of the packaging because it kind of like, I don't think it cheapens them. You just can't really see what they look like. And I think out of the package, they're just beautiful. Look at this. So I did buy two. So I thought they were so pretty. I'll probably send one to Dorothy. I might have to bubble wrap it because, you know, candles break in shipment too. But look at how pretty that is. So they have these beautiful snowflakes out. No scent on them, but they're just so pretty. You can even use them like as a decor piece too. So pretty. So they had them in gold. They had them in like an iridescent white. And then they also had them in a beautiful silver. And this is what the packaging looks like. Like, I don't think the packaging is bad. I do love the little bow on it. However, I you can't really tell what it is. Like, look. So that's why I like to take it out of the packaging because I think it looks so much more, looks a little bit more higher end than in this, you know, packaging. You can't really see what it is. So yeah, and I think I might just use this one in a subscriber, not a subscriber gift, in a raffle gift. So I grabbed that. I thought those were really cute. And then, okay, for the godson, I am almost done and I'm super excited. You guys know I found him the Minecraft blanket. I also find him the Minecraft little 
figurine thingies. I think I got a coloring book that's Minecraft. I'm just trying to do like a Minecraft basket for my godson. And then I got a Hello Kitty basket for my goddaughter. There's two of them. I have godson and goddaughter. One of them is in Boy Scouts and one of them is in Girl Scouts. So busy lady. Um, so I got him these to add to his little Minecraft um, basket I'm making. I'll show you guys when I make it what it looks like. So this little guy is... They're called Minecraft Mod Mob Head Minis. Steve in the Netherite armor. I hope I'm saying that right. I don't. So I got him that. And then I also got him this one. This one is Piglin. I thought that was cute. So I got him that. So that's going to go in this like little Minecraft basket. I'll show you guys when I make it. Um, next thing I got was the USB vacuum cleaner. I'm excited to try this out. Um, I need it for like my computer, um, my little desk area, and I'm notorious for like leaving crumbs everywhere. I might even get one for the kitchen because I'm a crummer. So this is what it, the box looks like. And then this is what it, it's so stinking cute. I cannot wait to try it, guys. If you guys want to see like a little like um, I can do like a little uh, short on it and show you guys how it works. See if I like it. Let me know. Post a comment. So I grabbed those. And then they had some, oh, let me show you this. Isn't this cute? It's going to be for my gingerbread themed subscriber gift. Isn't that adorable? So it says Candy Cane Lane and has Santa and then the little gingerbread man. I thought that was adorable. And you can even like go like this and then put it in one of your wreaths if you guys are crafty i'm not so i don't even want to go there but it's like you're so creative like you do really nice gift baskets why don't you craft i'm like i have no crafting supplies first of all and second of all if i'm gonna do something then i go crazy and i'll buy everything that i need to craft and then i will realize that it's too difficult too hard or i just don't have the time and then my husband gets so upset with me because he's like that wreath literally cost me 300 dollars. i'll make one thing and i'll be all proud of it and he's like yeah it looks great but you could have went to michael's and bought one at 50 percent off for 70 bucks i would have bought it for you you don't have to do that <laughs> So he's right. I've done it before. He, that's why he calls me Lucy because I'll have all these crazy ideas and then I'll be like, I don't want to do that. So <laughs> yeah, the crafting thing is just not my jam. But some of you guys that send me pictures or I see it on your Facebook or I see it on Instagram, I'm like, I want to make that. Like I wish I had a cricket, but I don't, I'm not going to go there. I keep telling myself, don't go there. Don't go there. Cause I see so many things. I'm like, I can make this and this. And I'm like, will you really do it? Will you? And I'm like, no, I won't. Okay, continuing on. Um, I got these for Dorothy and her mom. Um, the large print Bible word search. I know she would like that. And the large print word hunt. Um, I can, I'm still looking for the Christmas ones when I found them. Something told me you should grab them. And I didn't. And I should have. And I thought I did. And looked in the car everywhere. Negative. I don't know what I did with them if I did grab them. But I will find them. Either Megan or myself will find them. But these are for you. I'll put these in your current box got those okay next thing i grabbed these are so stinking cute oh, i could have swore i grabbed two i did so i grabbed two and two um uh, one of them will go in my god daughter's um hello kitty basket because i think it'll look really cute i just don't want her mom to kill me because it's nail polish and then the other one will probably go in lana's um stocking and then what I'm going to do with the rest is I'm going to put it on my freebie table for my toy drive. I usually have a freebie table where they can go pick out a few free items, something crafty, maybe something like this. And then they wait for the bike raffles because we raffle off bicycles for the kids. Okay, so I grabbed two of these. These are so cute. And I've grabbed them before when I was out in... Um, we went out of state for vacation. It was so much fun. You guys' Dollar Tree out in the Midwest. Amazing. So, um... Yeah, I grabbed two more. I was so excited to see them actually in California. Not seen. Just for girls. Sparkle like a unicorn seven piece nail polish set. Isn't that great for buck 25? Um, I don't know how big the girls' stockings are. And I'm only giving it to one because I have one granddaughter that is super girly like me. And then I have Lois, who is a little bit of a tomboy, so it's a, always a little bit of a struggle to figure out what she likes. I know now because, you know, they love to read, they love um, anything musical, they love, um, like, I'm getting to know her a lot more on a different level rather than Lana, where we could talk about, like, Hello Kitty and girly stuff. I'm learning to um, 
just connect more with Lois, which I absolutely love. So we've been having a ball with that. Um, I got the limited two. These are so cute. I think I did a reel on these or a short. These are so nice. Look at that. So I grabbed two of these. I didn't want to go crazy and buy them all because I have a lot of stuff for my freebie table. And I only have two girly girls in the family that will use these. So I didn't want to grab them all and then their moms kill me because they got a bunch of nail polish for me. And then the one in a melon, non-toxic, kid-friendly scented nail polish. So I kind of opened it to smell it. They smell good. So I'm going to keep this one. That's why it's kind of crunchy still. I'm like, oh, let me keep this one. But yeah, you get some really, really, it's packaging is super cute. So I grabbed that. These would be great, not only for Christmas, but you can save them for um, like birthday parties. If your little girl's having like one of those spa parties or even like as a grab bag gift for a birthday party, that would be a great little gift as well. Okay. Next thing I grabbed, which I absolutely love. This stuff is I grabbed a bunch of them because I really like them. So in the know, it's ITK. I didn't even know the name was in here. In the know, ITK Broad Spectrum SPF 30 Setting Mist. Um, it does have UVA, UVB protective with a blue light protection. You get 3.3 fluid ounces of this, guys. And I must say, it's a great deal for a buck 25. These are sold at Walmart and I believe... If I could find that picture, they're $14.25 or something like that, like $14. Um, I used it when I went on my little mini vacation to Laughlin. It was super hot and the sun was beaming and it did not irritate my skin. However, I did have, I did put um, my Frankie Rose setting mist prime, um, powder, on that powder, setting mist spray first. I let that drive and then I spray this over I didn't spray this directly on clean like nothing on my face skin because it does have a heavy I'm I'm, I'm letting you guys know if you have sensitive skin you might want to try this um, on an area other than your face before you spray it because you might get a rash it does have a heavy sunscreen scent to it um, I think what saved me is because I used a um, I used the Frankie Rose setting spray the first time I sprayed that and then I sprayed this over, I was still paranoid I would break out in a rash and I did not. So just to let you guys know, it does have a heavy sunscreen scent to it. So and of course it has sunscreen in it. So yeah, but I did love it. So I did grab a bunch. I grabbed two, four, six, seven. I'm keeping one for myself. One's going to go in my Amanda's um, stocking and then I got one for you guys for subscriber gift and then I have extra ones and I don't know what I'm going to do with them yet I might use them in gifts I might keep them I like it that much I think it's a great deal for a buck 25 so if you see it it is a definite pickup um next thing I got was I got the flower lipstick and I'm excited to try this out I got Garnet. Let's open it because I'm going to keep one for myself. I try not to buy a lot of cosmetics for myself because I have a ton of cosmetics. I need to go through before it goes back bad, but I do love a good lipstick. So let's see what this looks like. Ooh, that is a beautiful red. I love this. So I'm going to keep one for myself. And I'm not sure what I'm going to do with the second one. I'll probably end up sending it to Dorothy. But it's a matte lipstick. Look at that. Beautiful red color. I love it. It's like a dark burgundy, which I love. Um, I don't usually wear a lot of dark lipstick. I used to. I think when I was younger, I did. It's when I was a teenager, I used to wear a lot of dark lipstick. And um, it's not that I don't like it or anything. It just feels weird. I don't know. I just feel like it, it ages me. I don't know. That makes sense. I feel like it does. Some people can totally sport it and look absolutely gorgeous in it. But with me, I'm just like, it feels weird. I don't know. I'll, I'll, I'll wear it one time and then you guys let me know what you think. Like, I feel like it just ages me. you would be like, you look old. <laughs> just kidding. Okay. Um, I know I'm old, so that's okay. Um, the Eucalyptus Shower Fizzer. I grabbed two of those. One for myself. I definitely want to try it. One for my stepdaughter. And then I got one for Amanda to put in her Easter basket. So they have two scents. They have spearmint and they have eucalyptus. <laughs> And if you guys hear noises in the background, I forgot to give you guys my intro. So my, and my, yeah, I guess I'll call it intro. See, that's Miss Daisy. She mimics me. This is our blue and gold macaw, but she's not my bird. She's my husband's bird. So I'm not her person, but I spend the most time with her. So she listens to me talk to you guys all the time. And, um, 
yeah, she mimics me. So she mimics my laugh, what I say, go to bed, shut up, be quiet. <laughs> she mimics me a lot. So that's who you're hearing in the background. It's not a small child. I am not torturing anybody. That is my Blue and Gold McCall and they talk. So she's here with me in this room. Sometimes I can get her out. Sometimes I can't. Usually she'll come out on her own accord. We don't lock the cage. She comes out whenever she wants to come out. And then I do have um, two dogs. So I have a Yorkshire Terrier who's scratching and crying at the door because she wants to come in here and be nosy. That's Harley. I'll let her in in a second. And I also have Lady who is a Italian Greyhound and Chihuahua mix. And I better let her in because the more she starts barking, the more daisies are going to start chirping and it's going to get super noisy in here in a minute if I don't. So let me do that and then we will continue on with this haul. Okay, guys, I'm back. Hailey is, um, I don't know, she's acting weird. She's like, lift me up, carry me, carry me, carry me. Luckily, we only have a few more things left. Huh, girl? Huh, baby? Huh? Yeah. Yeah, we only have a few things left to haul for you guys. Harley likes kisses on her cheek. Like she'll go like this. Like she's like, give me a kiss. Okay. Can I put you down now? Are you okay now? Can I put you down? No? Okay. We'll try to do this quickly, guys. I only have a few more things left. Okay. Sorry about that. This dog is so spoiled. It's all my animals are pretty spoiled. Okay. That's not a toy. She thinks there's like. So when I usually come back with bags, there's always something for the dogs and she's so used to it. She'll snoop through the dogs. My dogs are super nosy. Anywho, okay, next thing I got are the 3D Flare um, French Lash. I like. I really like 071 and I saw them again. So I'm like, you know what? I'm gonna get me two more pairs just to have. I like longer eyelashes um, because I have larger eyes. Um, I feel like it pops when you do have larger eyes and you wear larger eyelashes. Smaller eyelashes, you really can't tell, you really can't see. If I want to go like super natural, but I'm not like, then I'll just put mascara on. But um, if I'm going out, I'm going to take pictures. I usually have a nice big lash. And I like the lash strips that go from small lash to longest lash, like small, and then it flares out. Um, only because that's the way your natural eyes are anyways. So in the beginning, you have like your smaller lashes and then it usually flares out. So that's what I usually do. So I grab those and I really like them. Strip is not bad. Love the strip. Okay. Um, next thing I got was I did get some um, stick on nail glue. Ultra hard, quick dry. You just need this in your life. You never know when you're going to break a nail. And I know I tend to have it. Oh, sorry, Hardy. I tend to break nails more often than not. So grab one of these. And I wanted to try the only ones. So grab that. And then I also grabbed some lip balm for Sarah and for Amanda for their stockings. These are by Be Pure. They're really cute. They're the Clear Rose Lip Balm. And these have like little winter berries on them and little leaves and they're perfect for um, a really inexpensive little stocking stuffer. So I grabbed them these. I grabbed two. I thought that was a great deal. And then the last thing I found, and I love this lipstick. So I grabbed an extra for myself. Um, this is a great lipstick. It is made by Bubba Beauty. And Bubba Beauty, I didn't know. I was Googling it. Um, it's a manufacturing company, the same manufacturing company that Lala Kent. I don't know if you guys know who that is. But she's from Vanderpump Rules. I don't know if you know what that show is. It's a reality TV show. It's pretty popular. Um she's uh the manufacturer makes her makeup a bunch of other she makes they make a bunch of other makeup and i really love this color one of my favorites so i grabbed the next one for myself and then i bought a few left from the last time i hauled this so i was like i'm just gonna grab a few more just to put in subscriber gifts i really like it it's a great matte lipstick you can play around with it and it was only a buck 25 compared to like the bubble cosmetics that i've been seeing like on lala's website and stuff they're like they run anywhere from like i think the norm is like 10.99 all the way up to 18.99 for a lipstick but you can get it for a buck 25 and this one is in dreams do come true i love the packaging on it super pretty and guys whew, that is everything that we got at dollar tree this week 
lots of lots of new items check those dollar tree shop with me's out you're not going to want to miss it especially my wednesday one every wednesday i post a dollar tree shop with me and in that video is always an amazing subscriber gift for you guys it has a ton of bonus prizes and more a handbag a wallet and more so check that video out i will link that at the end of this video if you saw that sneak peek we you know we have an amazing subscriber prize for you guys so we're going to um turn this camera around and we are gonna get into it. If you right. saw that sneak peek, you know this is this week's subscriber gift. So as you guys know, incomplete entries like enter me and I wanna win will not be valid for any of my subscriber gifts. Keep in mind, this is a gift for you guys. I would never ask you guys to pay for shipping. I would never ask you guys for any type of donation. So if you receive an email that looks kind of funny or a comment on here that looks funny, it is not me. I email you, you email me, and then I email you back with your confirmation number, your shipping information, and all that. I will never tell you in the comments that you won any type of subscriber gift, so please be aware of that. If we are getting down to the wire, which means end of the year, which means the scammers start to come out a lot more. So before we start with the subscriber gift i definitely wanted to put that disclaimer in i will never ask you for money i do not have a cash app i don't have any type of app asking for any kind of donation pay for shipping none of that i will never post a comment on here and ask you guys and tell you guys that you won i do it will be in the next video as you guys saw it'll be in the next video announcing the winner you email me and then I get your address and I ship it out and I send you your tracking details. That's how all of my subscriber gifts work. Anything else is fraudulent. Please report it to YouTube. Send me an email. Send me a message on Instagram and I will have that account removed. Okay? Just a little disclaimer. Getting close to Christmas. This always happens every year. And it. I don't want you guys to not enter. I don't want you guys to be discouraged about it. I just want you guys to be aware and warned, okay? So we're still gonna do these subscriber gifts. They're gonna get better and better as we get closer and closer to the end of the year. And once I hit 100K, we are going to have an amazing, massive subscriber gift for you guys. I mean, my mom, my aunt, my husband, people have given me some amazing gifts for you guys. You guys are gonna be jaw dropped like michael kors i mean we have some beautiful stuff for you guys okay so enough with that don't forget to hit the subscribe button share this video if you can let's go over the items quickly and then i'll let you guys know how you can enter so i wanted to keep this subscriber gift pretty simple so i included a bunch of sets um i have the wet and wild color icon vault so i love this because it has four separate eyeshadows for you guys and they are some beautiful neutrals some beautiful pinks some darker grays so you guys can mix and match and play with these amazing amazing eyeshadows and these are by the wet n wild toasty treats i have the lip therapy from vaseline it's vanilla cream latte we are getting into those wintry months even my lips are getting a little chapped i was like whoa i need to pop out one of those myself and then if you saw my haul you know i hauled these i had to give you guys one of that because it just simply went with the color scheme the lemon buttercream single wick candle from aldi i have here an amazing orange peel and cinnamon set for you guys you are going to get it's the three peaceful shower set with collagen and argon oil it includes the shower gel body lotion and a body poof for you guys and then if you guys ever watch any of my clearance hauls you definitely should I actually got this I believe it was like Ross and I think I got it for like five bucks I bought two of them one of them I was going to use for a bike night making a raffle gift but I didn't use it so I bought two the other person already claimed this adorable like Yorkie makeup bag it is by Mark tetro it's so cute and i got it on clearance so i have that extra bag and i'm like i'm gonna include it in this subscriber gift you guys know i love yorkies i have one myself she's my baby girl harley davidson so i was like this is my little harley girl so i definitely wanted to add that and since i love dogs <laughs> I really do. I like cats. I just don't own any. So um, I decided to go ahead and put this one pair of cozy socks for you guys. Little kitty cat in case you are a cat fan because I don't want to leave anybody out. And then I have this Garnier Skin Active and this one is made with rose water. It's the soothing three-in-one um, 
day or night mask for you guys. I'll let you guys even like that. It smells so good. I used it once. It did not irritate my skin. So you sensitive skin wearers, you might enjoy it. And then I have this aromatherapy collection. It's the Relax Rose. It comes with an eye uh, mask as well as the spray. So you can spray your pillows. I know we're getting close to those holiday season. We're going to start baking and cooking and shopping and all that good stuff. And it does get stressful. So hopefully this will help you relax and have a good night sleep. And then finally, I am including the LA Colors Shiny Pot pout shiny lip gloss set it is a five piece set beautiful beautiful neutral peachy pink colors for you guys and guys that is everything in this week's subscriber prize let's go ahead and go over the rules on how you can enter so if you would like to enter to win one you must be subscribed to my channel definitely double check if you don't comment a lot here on yt sometimes they will automatically unsubscribe you i've even heard other really large youtubers that i like to watch I like to watch like um uh, murder mystery and I love anything sister wives and they were saying on their channels as well a lot of people were getting automatic automatically unsubscribed and it was so frustrating we've all reported it to yt but it doesn't seem to be getting fixed so definitely double check that you have hit that subscribe button and that notification bell two you need to like this video three this contest is open to anybody with a dollar tree near them just keep in mind dollar tree does need to be in your state and region you do need to be over the age of 18 to enter and over the age of 18 to claim your prize if you could please share this video guys that just helps the algorithm and helps my channel grow the more i grow the bigger your subscriber prizes are going to get and the more people i'm able to help and need as you guys know 98 percent of the proceeds that i make for my social media accounts go to my nonprofit. i do keep two percent not for myself but for you guys to give back to you guys in forms of amazing subscriber prizes so i hope you guys really like this one and my final rule for this subscriber gift so as i was mentioning my guilty pleasure on yt is i like to watch murder mystery i love anything sister wives like any type of like sister wives update um what else do i like to watch I like to watch um, anything about Scientology, like everything that's going on in the Scientology world. Um, and I've also been really, really into the uh, Book of Enoch, like the little videos they have on that. If you guys don't know what that is, you can probably Google it. It's like another book that was, it's a long story. Anyways, I've been really into that. Oh, and the new Hunger Games that is um, coming out. I cannot wait, November 17th. I already bought my tickets. <laughs> I'm a huge, as you guys know, I'm a huge sci-fi, like, um, fan. I love Hunger Games. I love Harry Potter. I love anything Star Wars, you know, so you guys know that. But yeah, those are like my guilty pleasures of the moment. What are your YT guilty pleasures? Like besides, you know, Dollar Tree Shop with me's and haul videos and things like that. What else do you like to watch? Like, what's your guilty pleasure? Do you like murder mystery? Do you listen to podcasts? Post a comment. Let me know. And that's it. <laughs> you're entered i'll announce the winner on my next dollar tree haul so easy super easy the only thing i ask is that you follow these rules make sure to be aware about the scamming situation i know we're getting down to the wire and that usually happens i always start saying this the last couple of months of the year because unfortunately it happens and i would hate for anything to happen to you guys you know pay for shipping when i absolutely it's a gift i will never charge you shipping i'm sending it to you free of charge completely free super easy to enter so i hope you guys all start entering to win um i hope you guys are having a fabulous blessed day thank you so much for taking the time out of your day to watch my videos and remember if you like these videos please remember to like subscribe Hit that notification bell so you never miss an episode. And I, I'm going to be talking to you guys real, real soon. Start entering. Check out that Dollar Tree shop with me. Still have a little bit of time if you have not checked it out to enter for that amazing subscriber prize. That one's pretty awesome as well. You guys stay blessed. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.